Welcome back. Now, our next guest has managed to carve out a bit of a niche for herself in the world of detective dramas. Yes, whether it's cleaning up the mean streets in Scott and Bailey or finding the funny side of fighting crime in A Touch of Cloth. Well, Saran Jones is not to be messed with. Should we have a look at her in action? Thought you never wanted to see me again, old man. I didn't. So then why are you here? Boys down the station, they need your help with something. I don't fix vending machines anymore. There was a bank job. I read about it on the radio. Looks complicated. Also looks like it's none of my business. Jack, they shot the owl. Sir Anne joins us now. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't take it seriously, but it is all tongue-in-cheek, isn't it? Hence the name, A Touch of Cloth. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, we were at the screening last night, actually, and it was... Um, I'd seen it on DVD on the small screen, but it was on a big screen last night, and uh, Charlie Brooker, who wrote it, was there. Yeah. And all the cast, except for John Hanna, because he's on holiday. Um, but I just think John is so good, because he plays it so straight. Well, we all do, but it's such a laugh. Because I think cause it's a second series, isn't it? Second, yeah, we made the second and third. Um, oh. And so Karen Gillan joins us in the third, but that's not out till next year. But we made them together. Together, yeah. Because I think that was what why people love the first series so much. Because you tuned in, you of course played detective, John Hannah has as well. And initially you're thinking, is this meant to be? <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's, it, it, that's what makes it funny, isn't it? If you have the sound down, you could possibly think yes. it's a, a real drama. Yeah. But in the same vein as like all the um, cop shows, Naked Gun, mm. um, Police Academy, all those kind of things. So it's just really silly, yeah. silly humour. Because you play the same rank, don't you, Detective Constable, in Scott and Bailey. And yeah. I wonder, you know, if we watch something like Brass Eye or The Day Today or I'm Partridge, you think, oh, I recognise that in myself a bit. Do you find you're recognising the comedy elements when you're trying to play it serious? <laughs> um, I think with every kind of cop show genre, you know, you have, like, the interview scenes mm. and you have the chase scenes and, and you know, you have the tape at the... Um, like the, the dead bodies and all yeah, that. Yeah, the, so, it's the grammar of the, mm. the yeah. genre, right? Yeah, so I think, and because Charlie and um, Dan Mayer, who writes for Harry Hill, they watch so much television, it's a real love, like the Mickey taking is from yeah. a real love of, of watching cop shows. But, uh, yeah, when I'm doing Scott and Bailey, there are some times when we're kind of talking in acronyms that I think, you have taken the mick out of this before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Scott and Bailey, of course, was developed from an idea between you and Sally Lindsay, wasn't it? It was yeah. a real lab labour of love between the two of you, but she ended up not being able to play it. Yeah, because she had the twins, yeah. um, who are beautiful. Uh, so what, she, she plays my sister in it now, and then in the second series she was kind of able to do a little bit more because the Aww. twins were bigger. And then in the third series she was in, and hopefully there'll be a fourth series we're just kind of waiting to hear, but hopefully for next year. But you are keeping super busy all the same. Tell us about this yeah. new thing, uh, The Ark, filming of which is due to start soon. Yes, that's next week. I'm having all my hair chopped off. Are um, you? Why? It's World War One. It's uh -huh. about a field hospital in France in 1914-15, and it's written by Sarah Phelps. And I play a suffragist, motorcycle riding sister nurse from oh. Liverpool that comes to work in France with Formidable. a dark secret. Yeah. 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 That's it. Gosh, my goodness. So you get to do such a variety because you're also in Lawless as well, where you're playing a very serious judge. Yeah. Now, I've done so much different stuff this year. Mm. Lawless is um, Sky Living. Mm. Um, so if you have a look at Sky Living Drama Matters trailer, you'll see that um, Sky Living has, have done five oh, original so British dramas. Mm. Yeah. And um, they're, they're all pilots. And what they're hoping to do is put all the pilots out yeah. and then the audience will kind of decide which ones they like and maybe they'll make a, a three into series. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're doing some really exciting stuff this That's year. A couple of little things I want to clear up. So yes. Saran, is your real name or does that come from Sarah Ann? It comes from Sarah Ann. OK. Uh, all my family call me Sarah. Mm. So whenever kind of like work people call me Saran, they kind of go... So it's an equity name? It was an equity name, yeah. Okay. And you have a weird phobia, don't you? What's that? My wrist. Sorry, I should actually cover yes. my wrist, shouldn't I? You have a weird phobia. I'll I hide do. Mine. I don't know what that came from, but, um, yeah, if people kind of tickle my wrists, then I get all weird. We won't tickle them. We'll just say thanks very much. 25th of August. It's your birthday, right? Um, no, that's 27th okay. of August. I was 35. Um, no, 25th of August. That's Touch of Cloth. It's on a Sunday, and the following Sunday is the second part. Good. Happy Sky birthday all the same as well. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. And Saran, you're popping back, aren't you? Because I'm chatting to you uh, just after nine on yes. the rain. We're going to get the weather now. I can't speak for some reason from Laura in just a moment. But 